police body camera video, which helped explain what happened during a Dayton funeral procession where officers called for backup. Cameras showed officers deal with a crowd and cars on Germantown Street earlier this month. A woman told police a motorcyclist hit the back of a car and officers found the biker with critical injuries and police worked to calm the crowd. We got a crime scene here. We got to try to observe. Hey, no, 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 leave this bike. Police said a person fired a gun in the air, hoping that would break up the crowd. It's been pretty chilly the last few days, and when it gets cold, that could be hard on our cars. AAA told me drivers need to check their tire pressure and make sure it's not low. They also need to look at the date on their battery. Some can last five years, but most are good for about three. And AAA said it handles about a dozen calls per day for dead batteries. And be careful when you warm up your car. In Ohio, it's actually illegal to leave your car running unattended unless it's in your driveway. The iconic Radio City Rockettes are getting ready for Christmas. They're practicing their famous kicks six hours a day, six days a week. The Rockettes are getting ready for the Christmas Spectacular, which opens November 8th. It's a pretty rigorous schedule, but we love what we do, and we have 17 new women this year. This is one of them, so it's such a sisterhood that we're really supportive of each other. Six hours a day, the Rockettes will perform nine elaborate dance numbers. The show runs through January 5th. It's from Center 7 Weather Specialist Nick Dunn joins us. He's in for Austin Cheney tonight. You can imagine the calories in which they burn. They probably eat a lot of pasta. Yeah. And, and, and you talk about good timing, especially yeah. tomorrow, one of your favorite days of the year. Well, yeah, I like pasta. You guys like pasta Love too, right? You got a favorite type? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Well, guess what? With Tomorrow's meatballs. National Pasta Day. Look Where are the meatballs? How about that? Well, I know. I, I miss the meatballs there. And then that means we're missing the garlic bread and the salad and everything else that goes with that. But if you want to celebrate National Pasta Day tomorrow, here's a look at your hour-by-hour hour forecast for that. It's a little chilly in the morning for pasta there at 36 degrees. But as you come home during the afternoon, temperatures getting up into the 60s, maybe some spaghetti for dinner. Not a bad idea out there for us. Let's take you outside to downtown Dayton this evening. We do have clear conditions overhead. We've had some stubborn clouds a little earlier, but most of those are gone now. We still have a light northwest wind at 7 miles per hour. Temperature sitting at 43 degrees, and we're on our way down close to freezing for most of us tonight. Live Doppler 7 radar shows Urbana, you're already down to 34. Springfield, you're at 38. Richmond over there in the Whitewater Valley sitting at 37 degrees. And right now, Springboro sitting at 43. We're all under a freeze warning that takes into effect at 2 o'clock in the morning and continues through 9 o'clock. So that's why I said you may want to add a couple extra minutes to your morning routine tomorrow, just in case you wake up to some frost like we did this morning. Look at your forecast. Low temperatures for tonight have increased Dayton to 35. Right now, temperatures tonight are running a touch warmer than last night. But I still expect just about everybody else outside of the Dayton area to fall into the lower 30s and in some cases even falling below freezing. Not sure this will be enough to completely end the growing season, but we'll wait and see what the forecast verification shows for tomorrow. No chance of rain in the forecast at all for the next five days. We've got lots of goose eggs on the board here. We could certainly use some rain. In fact, right now, we're on pace to end October as the second driest October ever recorded in Dayton history. So we could use some rain, but unfortunately, we just don't have a whole lot in the forecast. As you go out the door tomorrow morning, Futurecast is still indicating that we get to even the 32-degree mark in town and even a couple spots like Richmond down into the 20s. But I don't know that that's going to be very widespread. We'll see how the rest of the night goes, but clear conditions to start the day. Going out the door for lunch, it's a little chilly tomorrow, so a jacket's still a good idea. And as we look ahead to coming home from work and school, temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s. And we still have one more potential for frost. That is tomorrow night going into your Friday morning. Temperatures in the middle 30s to get your day started. And as we look ahead at the Storm Center 7-day forecast here, the good news is by Friday afternoon, we've got a nice warm-up in store. How about 67 degrees? That's a nice 30-degree jump from the morning start there. Looking at your weekend, it is looking absolutely fantastic with highs in the lower to middle 70s. Those overnight lows also climbing up there from those 30s the next couple of nights into the 40s. That will end our frost threats for now. And looking ahead to next week, still no rain in the forecast. Temperatures in the middle 70s for highs and overnight lows by this time next week in the 50s. That'll be a nice improvement compared to where we've been. Thank you, Nick. Tonight, fans are struggling to accept singer Liam Payne is now gone. Now the evidence investigators shared about his death.